today we are installing the front runner bumper grill guard on the sprinter today me and Dean the bolts are somewhere under here right about where his hand is on each side I guess how many were there up in here there's one on each side and then there was uh, oh I see those yeah I see where they were yeah right there So one up underneath on each side and four across the front it looks like. Okay. We didn't have a clip on the side, it was missing. But there's a place for a bolt to hold it on. That. And there's a clip on that side. So I guess if you break off the clips you still got a bolt. There's a bolt and there was a bolt. And another bolt. Okay, this is four bolts. And I think these must be the two on the top. The two brackets, passenger and driver side. Okay, so uh, with this, so you got them loose, but they're up there. With the assistance, place the grill guard up to the outside of the frame bracket. You got to put that bracket on the center support bracket. Uh huh. That, not right now, but we will. You can pick that up. To pick that up. Okay, so we put the we put the center guard up. Taking uh, off that piece of protective rubber. Piece of protective rubber. It's time to put on the center of the guard. The center guard. Are they going the inside or the outside of the bracket? I'm trying to figure it out. See, I'm saying it looks prettier. So the bracket's going the inside now. Like that. Like that. Okay, so you got to uh, pull that up while you put some bolts in there. So three bolts on um, each side, with the guard going on the outside of the bracket. And that's all that holds it, right? Well, right now. Yeah. Soon there'll be a bracket in the middle where the license plate goes. Okay. Slow me down. Huh? Slow me down. Where's the wings at? Mom, we get the wings. Okay, we're going to put the wings on before we tighten the guard to the bracket. Not okay. Wings are pretty straightforward, aren't they? Mm -hmm. That's nice. So you had four bolts you put down. Long extension over there. Yeah, 
Yeah. Installed and we decided that it's centered and in the right position, so we're tightening it up underneath on those original brackets that we put on. We've done some dremeling to cut the plastic piece that goes underneath so it fits over the bar brackets. We expect to uh, make a lot of uh, dremel dust. This is where we, what is that thing called underneath? This is plastic. Splash guard. This is where we trim the splash guard. From right about there. Back to there. Looks like it's about a three inch cut maybe, three and a half. Just follow the diagram on the instructions. That's exactly where you cut it. But, you know, cut, fit, cut, fit. Better to cut and fit a few times than to cut too much. There it is. There's a ridge and a corner for reference. That's about where we cut it. Actually, that's exactly where we cut it. There, it's completed. It looks great. It's been sturdiness tested. It's sturdy. That's it. It looks beautiful. How long did it take? It was about two hours. Not that I did any work. <laughs> Dean did all the work. Thanks, Dean. <laughs> two hours with someone with some skill. Yes. And good tools. <laughs>